Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Logic Bots. In the previous episode we have made some kind of a wonky controlled walking robot. Now looking at the three options we still have in this category, I would say wall climb actually sounds the most interesting and appealing. So that's what we're gonna have a look at. Oh, 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 we actually, I have to see how this starts. Let's maybe just have a look at the objectives. Yeah, we have to go until the mark. We start right here and oh, that's something I kind of feared would happen that we start at the bottom floor actually and then we kind of have to make our way on top of the wall. But looking at this, we just have to climb up the wall. So we don't necessarily have to make something that can go down again. We just have to be able to pull us straight up. Now, I, of course, already had a look into the new things we can grab here. So I have a couple of ideas how we could take this on. You can see we have the RC receiver. This is going to make everything exceptionally easy. Then we got the suction cup, which of course is what we're going to need. Upon sending a high signal to this thing, it's gonna suck against whatever it is pressed using a vacuum, I think, yeah. So that's pretty good. What we need to be able to do is put the suction cup against the wall. And I'm pretty sure we have to use the hydraulic piston for that. So maybe we set something up with that. Let me see. This is the front. So my thinking is that we kind of have to place one of those on either side. If we place them correctly, like 90 degrees. Oh no, that's not gonna work out. I have to be able to rotate them even more. Oh, let me actually try something. What if we placed a piston right there and then could we place the arm on top of it? This is the front. If we placed the piston right there, then we could raise it up and with this arm, then we could press against the wall maybe. And if we have that at at least two spots, like we could have one on the other side, then we could expand the piston kind of pick the wall, then we retract the piston again and therefore the entire vehicle should go upwards and then we expand the piston on the right side and hold on again. Hmm, yeah, this is like the only thing I can think of right now. Let me figure out a way to attach this piston the right way. So there we go. And now of course we also need the suction cups. So we're gonna place those guys right here. Well, the angle doesn't look too advantageous. I really would have liked this to be at a different angle, but I can only rotate it horizontally for some reason. What if we placed it against this block? Okay, this way I could possibly rotate it 180 degrees. And if I manage to attach it here, we would be good. Make this a little bit longer. We're gonna go with 300 millimeters this time. And there we go. This is actually working out beautifully. Okay, I'm gonna place it at the upmost possible spot, but we have to rotate it once again. There we go. And this way we should be able to go against the wall, though it doesn't look like we would be able to reach it. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a functional part, the RC receiver. We're gonna place one here. I'm probably gonna need a second one. I don't know yet. But we're gonna go ahead, place this bad boy here. Then we're gonna need, let's say the RC receiver is gonna go there. And then let me think of a good key. We're gonna do Q and W. Q is gonna be the first piston thing and W is gonna be the second. So we possibly don't even need a second receiver. Let me quickly rename all of these things. Okay, there we go. We are doing the left side first, just to see if things are working out. We got the left piston right there. Let me actually see. Uh, let's place it here, left piston. And we got the left hydraulic piston right there as well. So theoretically, if I hit the Q button and then we activate both of these things, we should see what happens. So let's start this up and we're gonna hit Q, I think. There we go. What do you think? Is this gonna reach the wall? Not necessarily, not freaking necessarily, man. Maybe we are able to place this bad boy a little bit more towards the front. If we went all the way here, then we might be able to reach the wall because it did look good. Let me actually see. Yeah, I can press it here, but here I cannot really... Yeah, I can spot it. It might be able to touch the wall. Let's actually test it out. We're gonna add a couple of wheels. Now, I do not want to add more stuff than I really need. So let's try with two wheels. 
This is the left motor normal and then we're gonna have one more here for the right motor normal. Now I should be able to simply use an activation switch because as soon as we go against the wall we're done with the wheels. So I'm just gonna activate left and right motor. There we go and we are actually going against the wall. So let's see if I hit Q now are we touching it? What do you think? Nope we're not touching it. So I'm moving it as far to the front as I can. Something like that. And we're gonna test it again. Okay, now I should be able to hit the wall. Oh, oh, I see the problem. Maybe if we attach the wheels on the back. I'm just gonna move them right there. And now maybe we have a better angle. Let me see. Yeah, we're still <laughs> kind of making it towards the wall. That's fine. It's a cheap solution. And there we go. This should be touching, right? Maybe. I don't know how close it has to be. We have to activate it. So maybe let's decide for the number one button to be the activation for the left suction cup and number two for the right one. So we got the left suction cup right there and I need this guy to activate this one. Oh, there's a locked function. Activate and locked. Ah, okay, I can probably output a status here. Let me go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna hit Q and then hit number one and doesn't look good. Let me see if I can fix that by not being cheap and actually installing a couple more wheels. There we go. Okay, um, doesn't seem to be a better... Oh no, that's not better at all. How about we do only a starting pulse instead of this being on the entire time. Let me see how far we make it. Not far enough, unfortunately, but maybe we could have a delay and then turn it off. But that would already be as complicated as actually just installing another receiver. Oh guys, I don't feel on top of this right now, but let's just try to install another receiver in this case. I don't want this to be turned around. Everything needs to be nice. And then we're gonna take this receiver. This is gonna be responsible for what? the wheels. So we might be able to just move it over here. I'm gonna do arrow up and arrow down for this one. For now I'm just gonna use a signal splitter in order to activate the left and the right motor using the up arrow. But we might be able to also program in a reverse just in case. But let me see if I just you know very carefully make it towards the wall. Maybe we expand this guy already. Go 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 and then suck it up. Suck suck. Yeah come on suck. Yeah, look at that. That that looks pretty sucky. So is this all we need? I mean, this would be pretty simple. Let's use the left piston. No, this is the right one. Then right hydraulic piston and right suction. And then we're just going to do the same thing, I guess. Going to use W, as I said, for the activation of the pistons. And with the number two button, we're going to activate the suction cup. So this is the right cup, therefore RC. Cool. So this is already everything that we need to hook up, I guess. Let's go ahead and hit the up arrow a couple of times. I don't want to go too far. And let me see. I want to suck onto the wall. And I think, yeah, that already happened. So, oh, of course, I made a mistake. I cannot have the suction. No, actually, we have the pistons. Oh, no, this is not going to go well. Because now I have to retract the piston without actually retracting the hydraulic piston. Because if I retract the piston only, then wow, this happens. <laughs> okay, so the hydraulic piston and the suction cup need to be hooked up together and the piston needs to be separate. Okay, cool. That's good knowledge. Let's move a few parts around and we're gonna hook them up a little bit differently. So we got the splitter for the hydraulic piston and the left cup. Yeah, there we go. And this is gonna be activated using, let me think. Yeah, let's actually go with what we have. So Q is going to be responsible for these pistons. No, I actually want the number one button to be responsible. So there we go. I'm going to hook this up and then Q is going to be responsible for this guy, the piston. So I can steer those guys individually. Then we have these three things. Now the splitter needs to be hooked up to the right cup and the hydraulic piston using the number two key and then this guy, the W key, is gonna go to the right piston. So now we should have individual control, don't we? I can do that, piston only, and that, then I do, oh yeah, oh guys, 
I got this feeling, however, I also got the feeling that I forgot to rearrange these things here. Beautiful. I, I don't see a reason why this wouldn't work, except I mess up, of course, with the keys, but it should be easy, you know? We we might have issues with the time goal, though. So let me get this right. Um, This is the piston, there we go, and we want to suck it up, there we go. Okay, now I can release Q. And I can hit uh, W and I can hit number two. No, what? How does number two? What? That doesn't make sense. Let me try this again. We're gonna queue this thing up and then we're gonna suck onto the wall. So I'm at the wall. Q release and then we need W and then we need number... How does number two get rid of this connection? I don't understand. Okay, so maybe we should have some indication here. Maybe I have to suck onto the stuff for a while. Let me see. We could have the indication right there. Good. And I should be able to simply drag those things into here. Of course, it's not nicely arranged, but there we go. Locked. And we should also have a locked status right here. Uh, input. There we go. Let's uh, try that. We're gonna go ahead, do that and that. Have to scroll back a bit and... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it did suck on. And now what I don't understand is... Um, I, why can I not use this piston and then also the number 2 button at the same time? If I do that, for some reason we lose the suction. So I can only do two things at the same time. Okay, what if we added something like not gates uh, to these guys? And we will be sucking on as long as... Oh, no, we are sucking on permanently. So that is exactly what I wanted to see because of the not gate. However, now I can press W and the number 2 button. No, that's interesting. Uh, we might even have to have a little delay. I mean, we have to pull this up, right? I don't have this organized at all, but, you know, just doing the best. So instead of going directly here, we want to have a two second delay. Let me grab another delay for this guy. Instead of going directly to the knot gate, we're gonna have two seconds delay and bring it right there. Good, so now we are gonna go uh, up there. We hit the Q button and the number one. Okay, we can release Q. Then we hit W and we hit the number two button, which I cannot do at this point, right? Because if I hit number two, then this happens. Wow, this is intense. What the heck? <laughs> now, I'm actually going to think about this for a little bit. Taking a recording break, then hopefully I'm gonna come back to you with the solution. And back we are, guys. I think I got the proper solution now. I did have so, so many iterations. Well, actually not. It's like uh, 40 minutes later or so. But I did think through a couple of things and I came to the conclusion why make it complicated if we can make it easy. Therefore, I installed a third suction cup. I called this the center cup right there. So let's have a look at the circuit board, first of all. Now you can see there's not too much to it, actually. It's quite easy. So I decided to have a key assigned to either the left or the right side. So number one, if I press the number one button, then apparently the left side, no, the right side is going to be active. If I don't press the number one button, then the left side is going to be active. Now, what is it doing exactly? Uh, let's do the example with the right side. If I hit the number one button, then the right side is going to expand the piston. Then after a delay of two seconds, both the hydraulic piston and the suction cup are gonna activate. If I release the number one button, the same thing happens. First, the left piston is gonna expand. And after a delay of two seconds, the hydraulic piston and then the suction cup are going to activate. I also have a third button assigned. You can see the space bar right here goes directly into the center cup. So whenever I'm in between this delay, I'm just gonna hold on to the wall with my suction cup in the center. And once we grabbed with the other side, we should be able to release it again. So that is my solution. Let's actually test it out. We're gonna start things up and you can see we are starting with the left arm expanded. So let's go all the way to the wall until we actually hook up to it. We can see the LED is on. So now I can press the number one button. I have to keep it pressed. And as soon as we are up, I'm going to hit the space bar. So I'm going to do number one. And now that we are resting, hitting the space bar, I'm actually being kept on the wall using this suction cup. 
Now I can release the spacebar and then release number one. And it's going to do the opposite thing. Hit spacebar again and, you know, just repeat this over and over again. Now, as you can see, I do have some precision issues. And uh, this is something we could uh, possibly prevent from happening by placing this a little bit more carefully. Yeah, let me actually try to do that. I did run into a couple of these issues. If I placed this, uh, let's say, just a tiny bit more to the back, just a little bit, a couple of millimeters, then maybe we would be more successful. So let's try this again. Can I still hold on? Yeah, you can see this is the LED for the center cup. I'm gonna hit number one and hold on to the wall, then release and release, hold on to the wall again and hit number one. Oh no, it's actually not working here as you can see. Oh no, that's a problem. The left one doesn't seem to be perfect. Maybe it's because I didn't hit the wall perfectly straight. I think it's a precision issue. I should be able to take this guy and bring it slightly more back than we had it previously. Maybe right there. This seems to be more back. I have no idea. Okay, I seem to have made everything worse. I need a way in order to jiggle around the vehicle. Hmm, I don't think there's a convenient way to do that. I just have to be more precise with my placement. If this is perfectly straight, we should be able to do it. Okay, there we go. I placed a few parts more precisely and it seems as though we can... Yeah, okay, it, it's kind of working actually. So, release spacebar, number one, hit spacebar, okay, oh no, I messed it up again. But maybe if I just waited... Ah, I see, I'm such an idiot, I only need one of those. Why do this with two, if I can just do it with one? Let me try this, I actually saved this vessel, so it should be no problem. We're just gonna get rid of this one. I gotta get rid of a couple of things here, I'm just gonna get rid of this entire row. Anyways, we're pulling ourselves up, holding on to the wall, and then we could do that. And we are kind of going up more, you know? And this way we actually don't necessarily need the delay anymore, do we? Oh yes, actually we do, because we need to hold on to the wall first. So let me actually practice this, so we can do this a little bit faster. Number one, then spacebar, and release. Wait until it's holding on to the wall again, which it still doesn't. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Oh, I got this now. Look at that. Oh, it's working like a charm. Yes, oh, please. I was able to get all the way up there and then it just doesn't work anymore. Look at that. I can even decrease the delay a little bit. I mean, I have this totally under control, apparently. I just have to switch back from one to uh, spacebar. There we go. Number one and hold on. Hold on. Okay, guys, I think there's a way to actually do this. What I have to do is I just have to let go if it happens. So uh, right now it's actually working fine. We're holding on and then this happens. So it doesn't work anymore. I'm just uh, gonna release. There we go. But we did lose a little bit of... Oh, yeah, we lost everything. <laughs> Maybe we just have to look at this from a different perspective. You know, this might work out. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we got this far already. That's good. There we go. Oh, oh, we're making progress, guys. We're making it. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Almost over the first line there. Well, I think the last solution right here is actually not too bad. I just have a precision problem that not both of these suction cups are perfectly lined up. Now, it's just about not making any mistakes. This is a very slow process. Oh man, this is really going slow. Three and a half minutes already. Jeez. But it's looking good for us. I just have to let myself go. That's something I didn't know. Let go and everything is fine. You just lose a couple of centimeters every time. Oh, I can already see it. It's beautiful. I'm gonna risk looking at it from a different angle, even though I'm probably gonna screw everything up. There we go. Oh, please, you can do this. I mean, this is a very simple and cheap design, isn't it? It took me a while to get there, but now I'm fairly happy about the results. Uh, it's just one more. Oh, oh, we could have a problem here if I don't make it. Oh, jeez, please don't do this. Oh, no, this is not going to work, is it? <gasps> okay, this worked. Okay, please, please, please. Yes, yes, yes. We did it under budget. I thought so. I thought so. Holy cow, guys. Wow. I would say with that out of the way, we're going to freaking wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great time, and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.